Welcome to video tutorial number 17. In this tutorial you're going to need um, obviously your crochet, we're going to need the stuffing, you're also going to need your needle from the kit and a pair of scissors. So what we're going to do is show you how to stuff the head and then we're going to finish the head off from line 19 onwards and we're going to show you how to close up as well. So this is where we left it last time. You were going to complete up to line 18 of the head. So line 18 is complete. So we're going to take the crochet hook out. And now I'm just going to stuff most of the head while the hole's a good size. If we leave it too late, it makes it really awkward to, um, to get the stuffing in. So I'm just going to grab some stuff in, pull it apart a little bit just to make it, make it easier to use. And then we're just going to pop that in. So we'll pop quite a bit in to start with. And then once we've got so much in, we'll mould it into shape. Because we're looking to get a nice rounded head shape. Heads, as a general rule, are stuffed quite firmly. But obviously, again, not too firmly that you can see the stuffing through the holes. So there we go. Try not to lose our thread in there. <laughs> so we're just stuffing plenty in. And now what I'm doing here is just... Evening it all out and turn the head in your hands to make sure it's not bumpy and just squish it and move it around so you get a nice round shape. It wants to be a bit firmer than that. If you can see from there, that's still quite squishy. So we're going to put some more in. We're going to leave a little bit of a hole at the top, the stuffing, because um, we can finish it off after the next round. We can get some more in. So I'm just going to push that down as far as I can to make sure that I don't get my hook fast in it. So that's looking quite firm. But we'll finish stuff in as soon as we've finished the next round. So we're going to look at the pattern and we can see that line 19 is double crochet then decrease. And we're going to repeat that six times. So we'll do that round. So our first one is going to be a double crochet. Again, we're going to lift see where we're up to. So we've worked that stitch there. That's already worked. So I'm going to go into the next one. So a double crochet and then a decrease. Same as usual, just grab the front two hooks. For decrease. And then repeating that six times. So our next one is a double crochet. If you're not sure where you're up to, count backwards as well. I'll lift your hook to see if that stitch raises. So double crochet. And then another decrease. So we're grabbing the front loop of those two and crochet, double crochet those together. Right, that one, so that's the next one. So double crochet again. Try and keep this pulled quite taut because if you do this loosely, you find that the back of the head is a little bit more gappy. It's just when you're doing quite a lot of decreases, it's just prone to be a little bit more gappy. So when you've got a lot of decreases on, just try and make sure you're pulling everything quite taut. So double crochet. And then another decrease. And you can see now our gap's really shrinking. So double crochet. And then another decrease. So if we'd have tried to stuff after this round, we'd have struggled. <laughs> so then we have double crochet. And then a last decrease. If you get round and you find you've only one stitch left, then just do a double crochet in it. So we've done the double crochet decrease all the way around. So we're now left with, let's check our pattern, see how many stitches we should have. We should have 12 stitches at the end of that round. So now we're up to line. 20 
it says finish stuffing your bunny's head because this is pretty much the last last chance we'll have to put some stuff in him so i'm just going to have a feel of it it's just a little bit soft i think we'll get a bit more in so i'll pop some more in push it right down gently mold it by giving it a squish around so i can push more in i said just check to make sure you're not stuffing it so firmly that you can see the stuff in see with that it's quite dense you can't see the stuff in through it it's a little bit soft i think just a tiny bit more pop a bit more in like it nice and firm it just gives a good shape to the finished bunny so pop a last bit in so that's pretty firm look you can see so the back of the head's flatter and we'll just mold it into shape so we've got a nice shape there that's going to be the bunny's nose and so now we're going to do the final round round 20 which was decrease times six so we're literally going to turn our 12 stitches into six by doing a decrease one after another six times so let's grab our crochet and we'll do our last decreases and then we'll show you how to to get that bunny head finished so i've still got my stitch marker in all right so here we are the stuffing out of the way so we're going to this is a little bit fiddly because because you're doing a decrease after another if you struggle to find which is your next stitch again count backwards so once i've done one decrease it's because it makes it a little bit hard to see when you're doing decreases where your next stitch is that's one decrease i'll lift up we can see we've gone into that one already so if you're not sure one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so number ten is going to be my next stitch because we had 12 and we've decreased two so it's stitches 10 and 9 we're going to be putting together next a bit fiddly to get hold of them it is a little bit awkward at the end so we're doing that one and that one so stitches 10 and 9 and then we're decreasing them again keep it nice and tight don't let it go really loose here or you will find you've got a gappy gappy back of your head <laughs> so we're grabbing our next two so one two and we're decreasing those and then we'll grab our next two Front loops only remember one two and let's decrease those together and again count them if you're not sure so we'd count four back and then we've got two stitches left to decrease this one and the last one, of course, which is the one with our marker on. So if you want at this stage, I think I'm going to take that off. I've had a little bit <laughs> difficult because I'm looking into the camera while I'm doing it and then I can't see where I'm going. So we've got two left to do. And there will still be a tiny gap. So if you think, oh my goodness, I've, I've um, I made a bit more stuffing in there, there is still a chance you can poke a bit more in. So that's our last two stitches and then we're not going to do a slip stitch because it's just too too awkward here so we're going to use our scissors now we only need quite a short strand because we're just going to be gathering the final stitches we don't need a great big one because we won't be using this to sew the head on we left a nice long strand on the neck for that so we're going to pop that through the middle to secure it through the loop pull it tight and now you can see you've got a tiny hole so if you wanted to pop a bit more in you could put a tiny bit more stuff in and just push it in with your crochet hook but we want the back of the head to be quite flat and then taper in forward like so so that now is a bit too big to just leave because it's a hole and you could get little fingers in there and you could get stuffing falling out or being pulled out so we're going to do a nice neat finish and what we're going to do 
is get our needle, the wide head on, wide eye on. We're going to thread it like so. And now what we're going to do is just gather up those last stitches. I tend to start from the inside, otherwise you get that knobbly knot bit. So I'm going to go in with my needle and come out here, just because I don't like that knot sticking up where we fastened off. So that'll just disappear that inside. And then I'm going to pop my needle in, try and do it from the same way. So I do it from outside in. And then I'll grab the next stitch outside in with my needle. You can do them one at a time if you prefer. So I did two on there and then outside in, I'm just using the front loop of the last line of stitches. So I'm going from the outside to the inside. You can see there, look, that's our V and I'm just, just grabbing the front, the front loop one nearest to me. So I'm going to win that in each stitch. You can do a couple at a time, it's a bit awkward to do more than two. So I've gone in each one, just that front loop. And then what I'm going to do is just pull it and that'll pull it tight. And then this is our preferred method of fastening off. And this is great for when you've sewn limbs on and when you've sewn the head on, when you've sewn any parts on, you've got a strand that you need to get rid of. You don't want to knot it on the outside because it'll look messy. You don't just want to cut it because that will just come undone. So what we're going to do, now we've pulled that tight to gather them, we're going to go in near where we are. Don't do a big gap because you will have a big stitch. So we're doing it right, really close. And we're going to put our needle out through a gap in the stitches. Like so. And then we're going to go back into that hole. I do describe this on the pattern, but it's a little bit more easy to see it being done. So we're just going to go back in the hole and back out there and when we've done it two or three times is enough what I'm going to do is pull that taut so I'm going to pull it a little bit tighter see that pull in and then I'm going to clip it near the surface but not too close you don't want to accidentally cut your crochet and then when we go like that it'll have disappeared so the end is now all mixed in the stuffing and it's disappeared and retracted inside the head so now we have a nice neat head, a nice neat back and the head's all ready. So we can pop that to one side and in the next video we'll be showing you how to make a bunny ear.